Metal roof installation with the number nine boot flashing. That's our number nine boot flashing. You can get it at a metal roof store. This is a 10 inch pitch metal flashing with a four inch flashing extension. This is an example of the 14 inch pitch metal flashing with a four inch extension. This is our boot flashing trace that we'll use to cut our flashings back. It's exampled over a 10 inch and a 14 inch flashing. This is our trace after we've used the trace to give us a cut line. Now we're going to cut the flashing back. We can use 10 snips or we can use a die grinder. Die grinders are cool. This is after we've trimmed back the 14 inch flat, the 10 inch flashing, and this is after we've cut back the 14 inch flashing. Now for the boot flashing, we will not need to cut back to 10 inch, but the 14 inch will need to be cut back to the diameter mark on the flashing. Now we're on the roof, we're going to find our probe hole and trace our penetration for the roof using a sharpie. It should look something like this when we're all done. We're going to be cutting the ribs out from where our flashing will sit. We're going to leave a lip on top to go underneath. We like grinding. We're going to be cutting those ribs out that are in our way of our flashing and cutting the hole out in the center. We're going to be cutting a seam so that our flashing can go underneath the upslope metal roofing. Hopefully we don't cut ourselves. Should look something like this when you're all done. Okay, now we've test fit the flashing. Everything looks like it fits. Now we're going to cut that hole out. For the roof, we're going to use this geo cell and butyl tape. We're going to lay our butyl tape down first. We're going to do GSL on the upper seam that will slide in. That's because the butyl will get hung up when we slide the flashing into and under the metal roof. We're going to screw the hell out of it using metal roof screws. Then we're going to put the jack extension onto the flashing. Then we're going to trace the boot flashing and lay butyl on the outside of the flashing. Now we're going to mount the boot flashing. We're going to take account to center on the center rib, whatever is the center rib in a particular install. We're going to make it tighty tight all around that rib. No water is going to get by. We're going to set our screws along the upper edge and then do the same for the bottom around the middle rib. And then we'll adjust the left and right screws accordingly. When we're done, it should look something like this. Make sure on a 10 inch unit, the boot is underneath the dome. That won't be the same for the 14. Make sure there's water drainage everywhere there's a rib, anywhere you can see. And then enjoy your view. Have a bright day.